Hi folks, it's Keith, Victor Echo 3, Sierra, Victor Quebec, and sometimes Victor Alpha 3, Kilo Echo India. So today I thought I would do a video which is based on a question I had on a previous video that I had done some months ago, uh, which was suggesting for new Morse code operators that they use the reverse beacon network to copy Morse code to find people sending at a speed that they could use. So the question I had yesterday was, well, how do you use this? They're not seeing their call sign picked up anywhere. So I thought, well, let's do a quick demo. It's not going to be a long one. Uh, try and just give you an idea as to how this works. If you've never done it before, it's relatively simple. All right, so let's say you're going to do, what does the reverse beacon network do? Well, it looks for call signs. It looks for someone calling CQ for the most part. So if you're on there and you're calling CQ to, you know, the DE to whatever your call sign is, and you're on, I know, let's say 40 meters, which is what I'm going to use today, um, you get an idea as to how far you're getting out, or are you getting out at all, for that matter. You never know. In some cases, you may not be. It may just be the band conditions are awful, but you can do it for all the different bands that we use. And again, you know, for Morse code. So when you do this, First thing you got to do is, of course, decide how you're going to send. And I think for new operators, especially those who are new to Morse code, I would suggest you use the memory on your on your radio. Most modern radios have some memory space and where you can input various data. And the reason I say that is, let's say I'm going to use my other call, VA3KEI, right? That EI, right? The DIT, and then did it. So dit did it. If I make ever so off the slightest bit when I send that from you know, basically a perfect code, the radio might just pick that up as a KS, not a KEI. So when you punch in that you're looking for your call sign, it doesn't come up. All right. So you have to be really good at sending your call sign and sending CQ. So what I would suggest you do, as I said, use your memory system. I'm going to show you mine. And uh, we'll go from there with that. But it's a pretty simple one. So let's go look at that. And then once we do that, we'll do an actual try and see what happens. All right. So I've gone into the reverse beacon network. And this is essentially how your screen's going to come up once you're into it. If you notice, I've checked off the, uh, the 40 meter band, which is the one that I'm going to do at the moment and CW and CQ. So this is how we're setting it up. Now, the other thing, when you want to find your call sign, notice you've got, to, you've got to point it in here. So I've got mine in, Victor Echo 3 Sierra Victor Quebec, because that's the one that I particularly want to see if it's being picked up anywhere. So now we'll get into the actual process, which is very simple. And I think you'll find once you start using it a few times, it becomes almost second nature. All right, so this is the front panel of my ICOM 7300. So you can see how it's set up right now. I do have it set to transmit up here. You can see in the corner, it will transmit when I hit the buttons. So what I suggest you do if you're brand new at Morse code and are still you know, maybe trying your first few contacts, try and be as accurate as possible when you send the test message. It's extremely important that you do that. And in some cases, you're better to use your radio's memory because if you make even the slightest mistake in your call sign, you're, you're, you send uh, two letters slightly too close together, they're not going to pick it up. So if you look at the ICOM, it has a bunch of memories on it. So if you just go into menu, you'll see the one at the top right, sorry, top center, which says here. Now I've obviously pre-programmed mine for a bunch. So if I'm just sending, for instance, in a park and I'm just sending my call sign, you've got one here. You've got the answers. You have a CQ POTIF when you're sitting in a park for a few hours and your hand's getting tired. You have the QRL, you have a CQ test. So this is the one that generally most people would say you can use for the beacon. And then you have a regular CQ call here. So you can go in and you can edit these any way you want. Look at your radio manual. So for an example, you want to do the QRL.
Nothing. We'll try one more time. Not hearing anything. And we're not hearing anything. So I'll do a CQ test. So it's CQ test, CQ test, and my call sign. There you go, CQ test. So now we'll go back to the Beacon Network and we'll see if my call sign was picked up anywhere. Okay, so here was the last one I just did. This is the CQ test, CQ test. And you notice here I am here up in Ottawa, just outside Ottawa. So we got off over there. We got down towards Boston and I also went Washington, Philadelphia, New York, and that area. So that's where I'm getting 40 meters today. And, of course, you can do it with any other bands as well. And if you scroll down the page here, let me just move my screen a tiny bit here. There we go. If you scroll down the page, you can see I was picked up by quite a few different ones. So this is these are the most recent ones. The others were some practice just to see what happened. So it shows 12 words a minute, 3 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, and so on. Here's the one that just went out. So there's the various beacons that picked me up. And now you have an idea how this works. So that should give new people who've never done this before an idea as to how it works. And really, it's a lot of fun. So there you go, folks. That's uh, a very quick explanation for new people as to how that reverse beacon network works. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. and. Uh, you know, good luck with it uh, for both purposes, both for seeing how you get out and for looking for people who are sending out at a speed that you can copy or that you might even want to chat with. That's Keith, Victor Echo 3, Sierra Victor Quebec, and sometimes Victor Alpha 3, Kilo Echo India. Wishing you all a great day. Have fun on the air. 73.